Hello YouTube, ketogenic bodybuilding, I'm Rob Goodwin, this is Keto for the Extreme Physique Culture and uh, I am a week outside of uh, a recent competition. Uh, the dust has kind of settled from all that craziness and uh, I will be doing a recap of the competition, talking about how a lot of that went, showing you some footage from the show and uh, all that craziness. That's going to be in an upcoming, uh, the next upcoming episode or episode two of my morning muscle show which I record every Saturday morning in the wee hours and then uh, I should have that up by Sunday maybe even Saturday night so look for that video but for now um, I'm a week out from the competition again the dust have settled the dust has settled uh, the spray tans wearing off the beards coming back and uh, incidentally the beard I've had a lot of people say hey why don't you uh, not grow the beard back and then a lot of people have said dude grow the beard back why don't you leave a comment tell me beard or no beard okay so i'll leave that up to you people shave it grow it leave a comment let me know but uh and speaking of youtube it would really mean a lot to me if you like all these shenanigans if you would hit the subscribe button and uh, help us further this mission hit that little notification bell so you know when i upload these videos because there's going to be a lot of content coming now that we're in this off-season mass gain cycle thing that we're doing so i want to talk about that briefly um you know we went through a very hard you know good 12-week cutting protocol to prepare for the competition and uh if you followed along at all you know that can be brutal if you've ever done it you know it can be brutal if you've ever went through a cut you know it's tough but now we're trying to uh maintain slash add some lean mass in the off season in the winter months and my goal, hopefully, God willing, is to compete in Masters Nationals uh, in late July uh, next year, 2020. So now the goal is gear up for that. And today would be day one for that. Um, last week, I kind of took the week off. I did two light workouts, nothing crazy. Um, I ate everything that wasn't nailed down because I felt like I earned it. So I definitely uh, replenished um, probably way too much. Uh, but now that is all over and we're back on. So today is essentially day one of Nationals prep gain phase. So now that big caloric deficit that I was in for 12 weeks is now turning into a caloric surplus because you have to be in a surplus if you want to put on lean mass. So how does that work? Super simple. If you've watched the video on my uh, deplete um, target, reload protocol the dtr protocol if you haven't watched that look you know look into the archives and watch that but essentially you can take that umbrella protocol which is our blanket protocol of how i do my nutrition and you just tweak it depending on where you're at what phase you're in so us being in a caloric uh surplus now in a gain phase everything kind of comes up a little bit i start with a really really simple formula and then I tweak it and adjust it as I go because I will also keep tracking what I'm doing as I go through this thing. So, um, so what I do is I take, uh, and I'm sitting right now at a, probably about 212, 213 pounds. Um, I weighed in for the competition at 210, pretty damn lean. Uh, starting to, you know, I've replenished a little bit, so the weight's coming back up, which is fine. So what I do is I calculate my body weight times 1.5 grams of protein per pound of body weight. So I have that number. That, that's a rough estimate on daily protein intake. If I go a little above that, that's fine. I don't want to go too below that. Um, my fat, I calculate at one half a gram of fat per pound of body weight. So it doesn't sound like much, but fat having nine calories per gram, you know, that's a good whack of fat and I need that fat. I need that fat for energy, uh, fat, you know, good dietary fat works with the protein to help uh, uh, build a portion of that cellular wall of the muscle cells. And uh, so, you know, that fat is gonna be a critical component of uh, my caloric ceiling. Uh, to help me build as much lean mass as possible. And me being 51 years old, which I just turned 51 on Saturday, um, it's harder than ever at my age. You young guys in your 20s, take advantage of that. So get in that caloric surplus. If you're doing it, you know, the way that we do it here at Ketogenic Bodybuilding, it's still low carb with structured refeeds, but my, I start out with 1.5 grams of protein per pound of lean or of body weight to start with. And again, if it goes a little beyond that, that's fine. 
Start with one half a gram of fat per pound of body weight. And then my carbohydrates, I still keep under 50 grams. I still am taking in some vegetable matter because I just like the variety of it. I like having some vegetables. Favorites, you know, are still the asparagus, the broccoli, the cauliflower. Uh, I like to have a little bit of squash, things like that. Uh, not all the time, but maybe a meal or two a day, I'll stick to that. Every once in a while, I'll get into the mood for just a big, cold, crunchy salad with a bunch of protein on top. So I still take in, uh, I keep my carbs at 50 or under. So it's a, maybe a little bit higher in a gain phase. I'm, I'm definitely under 30 in a cut, but I don't mind if I creep up into the 50 range on a gain, uh, on a gain phase. So then I still do my structured refeeds on the weekends. And I'm gonna do a complete refeed video on how I do my refeeds and how to go about doing refeeds, especially in this mass building phase. So for right now, it's keeping the protein high, bringing the fat up, keeping the carbs under 50, and then we train our asses off. Today was essentially day one of hitting the gym hard. Now, when I train, it is lower volume, very high intensity. And I had a lot of success a week ago at the competition. And I really believe a lot of that had to do with this, you know, I went back to my tried and true 90s style, super high intensity, never more than two to three sets, taking that last set to failure every time, incorporating some high intensity techniques like rest pause, supersets, giant sets, force negative, things of that nature with my awesome workout partners. So the intensity is coming back. Today we did a little bit of a back and bicep workout. Wasn't long, 40, 45 minutes, but we went hard. We do uh, you know, some reverse grip pull downs. We do a couple of warm up sets, and then we did two sets to all out failure with some assisted four reps at the end. Uh, we did some heavy one arm dumbbell rows. Um, we did some steep, challenging TRX overhand wide rows, uh, worked in some biceps at the end there. So everything was super high intensity um, and it's very low volume and I'm still hitting, you know, in, in this gain phase, I'll be hitting one muscle group a week. The split currently is back in biceps on Monday. We do a heavy shoulder workout on Tuesday. Uh, legs is Wednesday. I will take Thursday off. On Thursdays, if I want to hit a little bit of core, um, you know, something like that, that's fine. Maybe some posterior chain muscles, nothing crazy, because I like to look at Thursday as more of a recovery day. Friday, we hit chest and triceps. I take the weekend off to recover and try to do as little as possible. Maybe a little bit of cardio just for conditioning and working the heart. So that's the split right now, but it's high intensity, low volume, combined with the, the gain phase nutrition, which is caloric surplus, high protein, enough fat to bring in that energy component to help work synergistically with the protein to build the muscle, to give me those calories that I need. And I, I forgot to mention when I was like quickly running through, you know, what I was eating on days to, like today, MCT oil, the C8 MCT oil is a fantastic way to boost that calories. It's still, you know, when you're staying really low carb, it can be tough to hit that caloric surplus. You know, it's harder than you think to get a lot of those calories in. So you, you do have to rely a lot on red meats, a lot of eggs. I'll even throw in some peanut butter, some almond butter, things like that to help boost uh, that caloric intake to get me into that surplus. And that C8 MCT oil really, really helps get the, that extra whack of calories that I need that I don't really have to worry about it storing as additional body fat. I use it as an energy component throughout the day. So gain phase nutrition is pretty damn simple. I start with that formula. Now, that formula may change because as you may know, if you followed anything that I do, everything is according to the individual's you know, specific needs. So as I'm monitoring my weight and my muscularity and my physique, uh, as I'm looking at things once a week, I'm, I'm, I will even weigh myself maybe once a week, kind of see where the whole thing's going. Uh, I may have to bump those numbers up. You know, I may have to titrate the protein up a bit, I may have to bring the fat up. And something else that has worked very, very well for me over the years is I may incorporate high and low days. I may uh, go real high calorically and take in a little bit more fat for two days and then bring it back down to just over um, uh, a surplus 
uh, on a third day and bring things down a little bit and kind of have it be a kind of an up and down thing. That's worked very well for me as well. That kind of keeps the fire stoke, kind of keeps the body always moving forward. So that's something else I'll play with as well, but I'll keep you guys updated on how it's going as we go. Because I want to really document this road to the nationals thing that I'm doing. Um, it's looking like, what, six months or so of gain phase, and then we'll start the cut again about 12 weeks out and really try to take it to another level of leanness and conditioning uh, this time around for nationals. Uh, when I do my competition recap, I'll tell you all the things that I screwed up, the things that I could have done a little bit better that I've learned this time around that uh, I'll definitely do and things that you can learn from my mistakes as well so you don't make those same mistakes. And again, it's all going to come down to my individual needs. I'm, you know, I'm 51 years old and I've been doing this for 25 years and I'm still learning every single day what's going to make me better even at my age and then what that does is that translates to how I help my clients achieve their very best and keep them moving forward as well. So gain phase is in full effect, caloric surplus, super hard high intensity training and uh, we're going to I'm going to always try to to bring in some videos here on my YouTube channel that talks about the training element, that continues to talk about the nutrition element that I'm doing. We have the morning muscle show where anything goes, and I'll kind of just sort of talk to you what's on my mind on that day, things in uh, that I'm doing with my training, maybe things that are going on in the industry, things that are driving me freaking nuts, things that are making me happy. It's kind of whatever I feel like at 4.30 in the morning, drinking coffee, sharing my thoughts and feelings with all you wonderful people. So Morning Muscle each week is gonna be a cool show as well. So again, my goal is to keep you informed on everything that I'm doing so you guys can follow along. And once again, if you could help me further this journey, spread the word, it's gaining in popularity like wildfire. So please hit that subscribe button, hit the bell for notifications, leave a comment, tell me how I'm doing, tell me how I can improve. You know, I'm fine with constructive criticism. I'm here to help you be better at what you do in your journey. So thanks for being here. If you have a question, shoot it to me. If you're not a member of our Ketogenic Bodybuilding Facebook group, join that. It's an awesome group of people, nearly 8,000 strong in a very short period of time. So uh, be part of the insurgency, Ketogenic Bodybuilding. I'm Rob Goodwin. Next time, until then, keep training hard, have some steak and eggs, and go be your best.